Does something seem a little off to you? Like something's maybe like a little crooked or something? Maybe it's the beer of the game, Crooked Tree IPA. Or no, you know what? It's probably episode three of The Wolf Among Us, A Crooked Mile. Ah. Or, oh, wait, shit, no. The screen's kind of crooked. <laughs> Wolf Among Us Episode 3, I am so damn excited because I am pretty much obsessed with this game. Oh, and by the way, I didn't want to mention earlier before the uh, theme song played, but uh, you, you're looking good. You're looking hot. And another thing I wanted to mention, it seems like the beers that I choose for, uh, you know, the beer of the game, um, the ones that match up perfectly with whatever I'm playing, it seems like a lot of them are IPAs. And I'm not a big fan of IPAs. It's kind of frustrating, you know, spending my money on beers that I don't even really like. Not that this is bad, but, you know, I walk into the beer store and I talk to the guy and it's like a scene from The Notebook. He's like, what do you, what do you want? What do you want? And I'm like, it's not that easy. He's like, well, it is because this is not a beer store. It's a library. Please leave, ma'am. Like, not a ma'am. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. Snow, I love you. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I forgot about that line. Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Boobies already? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. Yeah. What is it? <gasps> It's Crane. Oh, I remember all too well, you creepy son of a bee sting. Let's get him, Big B. I'll kill him. I'll rip him apart. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. It's getting to the point where you can't What's trust creepy on? people these what did days. You find up there. You know, other than the I just need to find snow. Why? What's going on? If he touches Shit. the Crane's real dead. snow. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Biggie? Beast, Beast is so out of the loop. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Who's Bigby? What beauty? What? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. That's a good point. I care for snow. We love snow. I hope you all are with me on that. Because... If you don't like it, you can just leave. No, come back! The Buckingham Bridge. 10.28 p.m. 
It's close to that time. Spooky. So the funeral's at this bridge? Oh, because she's a troll. I'm glad I figured... I, I thought that was going to take me a longer to figure that out. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. Snow is safe. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that... I won't interrupt. ...the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain us well. Table. And it will, in time, for Skyrim. I act in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd I'll like to talk about, about you. what you've all I'll been so great to share with me. I'll miss you. The memories of her. Holly. How she could be stubborn and patient. Rash and thoughtful. Now you will she never carried die a torch from for the old ways, or lead a, a tedious life. For, um, Goodbye, pageantry. sweetheart. Thanks and for most everything. Of all, it seems Vivian. how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around. You were a big, bright, shining star in this I never shit hole Lily of a town, from and I miss you already. I know in my heart. Grins the dude we ripped the arm off of. Bottle of liquor. Now we'll have our um, Billy go. moment of silence. I Thank love you. this game. All the little, little inside stuff. The three Billy goats. You it, know it. Is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. It's true. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. We didn't, right? And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Oh. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I wonder who she's supposed to be. Purple, blonde hair. Peter Pan? Ah. Uh, this better be wildly important. Didn't even make it's sense. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Crane murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying 
everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. Be pretty messed You're up. Sure, this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. Oh no, do I show her the photo? Is wrong? It would mean more than our job. I'll tell her. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. Are you uh. okay? You don't have to do this right now. I'll be fine. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Um... No? I, uh... I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh... Coming! Hmm. Constable? Wait, what? wait, wait. Easy now. Oh. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you jagoffs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. Good. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that Who particular was it? boy. Zazu? So you Iago? leave Crane alone, and we uh -huh. leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. What do you want? So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Ah, uh, oh, settle what do I down, say? Settle down, now. Yeah, everyone, just stay where you are. Nice and natural. Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport Something's about, about to this. go down. Not making our lives any easier. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, don't, darling. Don't do it. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Oh, no. Everyone calm down. Not on my watch. I took his arm, but he doesn't deserve to die. Sons of bitches. Oh. 
Damn it! I didn't want any of that. Uh, was there any way of avoiding that? Were there some choices I could have done that... That wouldn't have made that happen? I wanted to be respectful. I didn't want to interrupt the funeral. I just wanted to talk to Snow for a minute. I let her go back, do her thing. You know, take your time. And the damn Tweedles had to show up and... Killed Holly. I think killed. Shot Gren. Gren's been through a lot. We ripped his damn arm off. It shot me in the shoulder. It's really taken off in this episode. A crooked mile. Buffkin, my man. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Oh my. Shirtless <coughs> Bigby Wolf. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Holly's alive. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. Handsome, you mean? And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B? Big B, you can stop flexing now. So, Should I put a shirt on? Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts My all man. the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. A flying but monkey I, after I my know. own heart. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? It's messed up. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Careful, Buffkin. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. Anytime. Oh. Can I, um, ask you a question? Absolutely. It's kind of personal. Oh my god, yes. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And 
I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Me personally? Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. Shots? I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve okay. this ourselves. I know that Never it... mind that. Come help me look. All right, here we go. Inbox. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy. Of him and you, together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep... Replaying moments in my head, interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. You couldn't have. Don't blame yourself. Let's see, what's this letter? Think about Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority best. Waylon Smith. The farm could use improvements? Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I am ready to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Pinocchio's rooming with Boy Blue? Have I mentioned I love this game? Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. That's why he's my friend. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. What do we got here? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. 
Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> we set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I trap Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. Which What's your game, ring? Bluebeard? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Whoa. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Snow noticed that. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! Wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Wherever Snow wants me to go. Find the witch. Okay. Here we go. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Oh, man, which one did... Okay, Bluebeard wants me to go to Crane's office. Tweedle D's office, Holly's bar. No! Um, 
I'm gonna make my decision in the next episode. I'm sorry, but I'm, you know, so much has happened in this episode, I'm slightly confused. So, um, you know, leave a like if you liked what you saw, favorite, and even uh, subscribe to another round so you can come back, uh, join me for another round of The Wolf Among Us A Crooked Mile, and we can, um, you know, go somewhere. So, uh, please come back. I clearly need help. Cheers! Cheers!